this is julian opie <clears throat> julian opie is an artist and he makes these stylized vector graphics of people if we have a look at the features we've got a very kind of uh, solid normal background very simple line drawings of uh, the t-shirt and of the face uh, we can also see the straight lines of the eyes and the eyebrows that are really kind of thick and the nose is just almost hinted at. We can use vector graphic software to make a graphic representation of ourselves, or in this case, you are going to choose maybe a favorite celebrity to try and make a Julian Opie portrait of. So I am going to choose me. And uh, there we are. There is a picture of me and I can paste this into uh, Foxy SVG. Now I can make that a lot bigger like so and I can start to have uh, some work on this. So the uh, probably best way to start is to start with the thing that is going to be furthest back and that's going to be my neck. I'm going to use the freehand tool for this and uh, I'm going to draw the neck first and you notice I'm uh, just drawing roughly where it is. Now I can always go into edit afterwards remember and I can uh, straighten up my covering of the neck. And I want to change the fill color, and I can use the dropper here to get a color off of my face for the neck. That's absolutely fine, like so. Now, uh, I'm going to draw the different elements on top of it, and to do that successfully, the easiest thing is to use my layers and switch off uh, the path to the neck like that. And I'm going to select away and then I'm going to use the freehand tool again. So I'm going to draw a line for the t-shirt and I'm just making it like that. Now remember I'm going to put other things over the top of it so it doesn't really matter uh, if I go slightly wrong and I'm just going to straighten that up a bit and straighten that up a bit. Good. Uh, I can use the transform tool again. I can move that to one side and I can change the fill using the dropper to be the fill of my t-shirt. And again, I'm gonna go to layers and I'm gonna switch that one off. Right, now I'm gonna do the shirt. So I'm gonna do the outline first so uh, I'm going to come up here like that and uh, I'm just going to come down and you'll notice I'm going over the collar. I'm going to do the collar separately like so. And uh, that I could have uh, just uh, come across the bottom here like that. There we are. And again, fill, take the dropper, and I'm going to make it all one color, which is going to be that color. Layers, turn it off. And then let's see where we're getting to. So if I turn on first of all the neck, then I turn on the t-shirt, then I turn on the, oh, I've accidentally recolored the t-shirt. So click off, click the t-shirt, move it to one side, fill, and use the eyedropper, grab a bit of the t-shirt, there we are, and then move it back into place. 
Okay. So I'm going to do the next bits uh, very quickly. Just um, turning those off. Make sure we're clicking off at each time, as I forgot to do just a minute ago. So I'm going to do the color. Just like that. Maybe want to just edit a couple of these points in a bit. And then I'm going to click off of that. And we are going to have You can fast forward through this bit, you'll be able to see what I'm doing, but I'll just uh, do it by bit by bit so that you can see uh, what's being done. And again, use the drop arrow to get the same as this side. Click off it. Right. Next thing. Where's my head? Notice that's going to get underneath the hair, like so. Okay, so uh, we will also need a few elements which we'll do with the blob tool. The blob tool, you can change the size. So let's um, bring the size down a little bit to that kind of size. And I'm going to go on with the glasses. I can always correct this afterwards. Okay. I haven't done a particularly good job of that. can always correct it afterwards. So if I now turn my uh, layers back on, I should be able to and I just need to use the select tool to Select the face, change the fill using the dropper, and then I can uh, use the select tool and change the fill of these. Oh. So I'm just going to select. Mm. 
managed to not select off the hair, which has meant that it's joined in now to the uh, uh, to this. So uh, what I think I need to do is I need to split the shape. So uh, I go into edit. And I just select. key to select these and then uh, I want to do split path right oh dear so I might do better off just uh, deleting these uh, shapes here that I'm using so I'm holding down control and there Delete those and delete that one. Uh oh. I'm getting myself into a bit of trouble here. Anyway, um, I would probably want to just delete the hair. Let's do that and start again. So let's go freehand tool. I'm going to turn off the face and the layers. Just goes to show we all make mistakes. And I'm going to turn off the neck layer as well and uh, I am going to probably do a better job of it this time anyway okay and there we are oh that's much better okay move it to one side and then I'm going to do my color fill There we are, and I'm going to move that back. And then this is what I failed to do last time. I didn't deselect it before using the blob tool. So now I'm going to try and do a better job of the glasses, which I seem to be doing so far. Okay, that's a much better job. Click off, deselect it, blob tool, like that, deselect it, and then blob tool, nose, nose, there we are, deselect it. And then blob tool, eyes. And there should also be a glint of white in the eye. But generally speaking, that is much better. And so I can now uh, select all of those things and I can give them a black fill and no stroke. Right, now in my layers, I can turn it all back on and you can see it's starting to work and actually if I select uh, all of the shapes that I've made so I'm going to zoom out a bit and uh, I just want to deselect that's it and I'm going to get the stroke and I'm going to put the width like that. And you can see it is starting to look vaguely like my Julian OP. And in fact, I can now remove the background layer. And there you go. There is my completed Julian OP portrait. So, uh, obviously you can spend a bit more time I'm doing under the pressure of video but it just shows you that it can be done of course you can go into any of these shapes afterwards like here the glasses have gone a little bit funny so I can then start to edit it and I can edit the points and get it looking nice and smooth um, in fact sometimes just deleting the points 
helps you to get it a lot smoother because you can then just use the controls on these points here to make it a smoother line across like that and you can see that's much better so uh, have a go edit your Julian Oakey portrait and uh, let's have it posted in teams please thank you very much for listening all the way through uh, most of the middle there was just me trying to get it right uh, if you need to rewind and see any of it, then please do. Thank you very much.